hi everyone and welcome back so from the last video what i did is i upgraded the nest.js now we are using nest.js uh, 9.0 everywhere 9.x 9.0 9.0 and i updated all the dependencies you can see nest.js core is using now 9.0 and all the packages and you can see the nest.js version is 9.x because you cannot work with the latest nest.js and the old type orm module or latest type orm and nest.js 8.x i mean there are a lot of issues you will see and you will see what is happening so what i did is i upgraded the type orm with the to the latest let's see our user service which we are running so inside the package json you can see nest.js core everything is 9.x and nest.js type orm is also 9.0.1 and type orm module is now 0.3.12 I mean there are some issues so be on safe side upgrade that to the latest version and now uh, I was just playing with this nx graph to check my dependencies so I just did npx nx graph that will give me this nice graph to see around like what are my what all are my dependencies so we have apps these are all our applications and here you can see infra and then we will change this infra part also like there will be a all these applications will have their infra folders added and this is the packages these are the types right so config package is being used across everywhere like all the services will use config even the logger and the database is using config module so this is like uh, this is just a simple setup of nx already provided by nx the graph module so you just write npx nx graph and you can see this visualization of your all the packages applications modules i mean the whole workspaces so types i have just recently added that is being used by each user user microservice so what we are doing with this uh, the new service new package sorry so all the typings i'm going to add all the types we have in the system which are being used across everywhere like this user role so we already know that we have a system admin restaurant admin restaurant user delivery partner and there is an end user if no role is assigned that means that is an end user consuming the application for ordering the food food right so now i did some changes in the user service added some controllers so we'll go to app domain and user user controller so i have added this particular route to add a permissions because how the system will work first of all you will bootstrap a single user in the database and the, you will assign the role as a system admin now that system admin role now with the system admin role what you can do you can create the restaurant admins so you will just create any random user i mean this is basically happens in the back office application because you build uh, this SaaS platform and now you are selling this platform to a restaurant so what you will do is you will create a restaurant admin through your back office portal or uh, if you want to do it like this you just create a user and change the permission of that user to the restaurant admin now that user itself will create his own restaurant and then in the created by or owned by owned by will have the user id that we will cover in the um, restaurant microservice so here you can see the roles now we have added the user roles that also we can just use so we are getting these roles from system admin user admin instead of this because now we are using roles there we will just remove this interface and we will go to our controller user roles dot system admin okay we will just use this one centralized typings everywhere so that we don't see any conflict we don't see any issue these roles we need to replace at most of the places wherever we are using it so first of all remove this import so we will know on what all places we see these errors okay now i added this route 
even before that i added one custom decorator so let's say get user profile what it is doing it is just returning you your own data let's say you are logged in user so what you need to do we have already this auth strategies which which are putting your user object in on the request object so if you see this uh, strategies what they are doing is they are putting the user object on the request object right once you once your token is valid everything is good so what we can do is we can just create a simple decorator this i created this decorator is just extracting the data from the request object and putting the returning this request dot user that's it and this decorator you can use in your controllers so this is my user controller and here you can see i'm using this decorator user uh, user entity and i will just return this user so let's say if i want to get my own profile i'm the logged in user i can use this route other than that we have added this put api call assign permissions id and it is taking the dto which is in the parameter is id and the body contains the enum the body is the enum inside the body we are passing the user roles so if i show you the swagger specs how it looks like we have this new api added user id and the permissions so you will create a user system admin will create a user uh, and assign this permission because this is only allowed by system admin no uh, other user can access this api because we have guards added on the auth controller here we can see there is a guard roles allowed user roles system admin and this roles allowed is a guard which we have created this role allowed is just a custom decorator and this is the guard role guard what it is checking is whatever you are passing whatever you are passing here system admin should be available in the token payload token has a permissions right so that permission should have this system admin as a permission otherwise it won't allow you to access this particular uh, route this is the free route and uh, why do we have two routes this is also doing get okay this is get all users and this is uh, we need to change it get profile so it is just like you are getting your own self profile this is getting all the users this is updating your user permissions so it is updating this user permission we are passing the id so assign user role permission first we are trying to get okay user exist if user exist then update the permissions of whatever the permissions you are passing in the payload so that is also enum you cannot just randomly pass anything that will do the validations unauthorized first of all so whoever this user first of all needs to be a system admin so what we will do is we will do the login first let's do the login we will get the token you see the permission is system admin authorized with this token let's see if we can fetch the list of users yes and then update permissions yes we are able to update the permission and this user is just a different user this user id we are passing it's like you create a user using this post apis and it, it is it has created this user id now this is like a random user which doesn't have permission assigned right so now what i can do is the root uh, system admin i'm already logged in as a system admin i will assign the permissions as a restaurant admin and then i can just get the list of all the users so you can see i list of all the users restaurant admin system admin this is me a logged in user and both the other users are restaurant admins okay so these are like the basic apis uh, which we have created and this is how we are consuming them this is the dependency graph we have created so all these things we are going to use standard view of building the apis okay so now what is the next thing we are able to 
create a login, assign the permissions. Now these users are restaurant admins. What they will do is they will go and create a restaurant and then they will start adding the categories, dish menu items, it, they will update the profile, add the, the restaurant address. All those things will become part of the restaurant service and restaurant service already has an access to the token. First they will validate the token is valid. Then the, the restaurant service will check the role. If the role is restaurant admin, okay, you can create a you can create a restaurant and most of the time if you are a restaurant admin then you would be owning either one restaurant or a multiple we will allow that user to create a multiple restaurant if possible then you are the owner of the restaurant you can add a lot of all different operations on the restaurant as you are the administrator of that restaurant so okay let's uh, connect in the next video i'm still building this restaurant service we will use the type orm transactions type orm joins all those things to fetch and persist the data because we have a couple of tables till now we were just dealing with the user table so there was no joins simple read and write from the database okay let's see that uh, let's start building the restaurant microservice apis that will also include the search because once you have uh, all the data is collected the dish menu items from multiple restaurant user will come and put the just a simple name of the dish so how we can do that maybe i will just try to uh, bootstrap elastic container elastic search container and then we will nest.js microservice using the search api it will ask you some parameters like search term maybe a location maybe all these based on those parameters we will search in the elastic so our data is in the postgres and we are doing search in the elastic so we, it's going to be fun building the search and the restaurant microservice uh, i will put a plan how we are going to do this in the coming week.